Welcome to the stage of history retold. I need your car. You what? You're not taking my car. Very well then, you're driving me. Let's go. Right, driving you where? To the North Pole to see Santa Claus. If that this slubbering onion-eyed maggot pie thinks he can just blow me off like that, he's got another thing coming. Look, Stewie, I know you're disappointed that you didn't get to see Santa, but I, I'm not driving you to the North Pole. Everyone, Quagmire's niece is in the ICU. Now, I think we should go down there to support him. W what? Yeah, apparently something happened at the mall and she took a turn for the worse. They don't know how much time she has left. Quagmire just called. He, he's really upset. It doesn't sound like he wants us there for some reason, but, but we should go anyway. All right, let's go to the North Pole. And so Brian and Stewie set off on the road to the North Pole. Hey, you want to hear a real live action fart instead of one of those fake cartoony ones? We're gonna need another pair of pants and another chair. Wait, wait, don't, no, I'm ready, I'm ready. Guys, trust me, it's him. I'm his friend, oh, you idiots.
Stewie, wake up. We're here. We're at the North Pole. <laughs> what? What? what uh, North Pole? North Pole. North Pole. There it is. My word, I really must have been asleep. Ah, look at this. The tip of the earth, Brian. Okay, let's go see Santa Claus. All right, let's go. This is rather festive, isn't it? Across the country, I finished the show and I finished. I did it.
country. I finished the show and I have been. to be small because of all the tiny elves. Now oh, that's right. Good, good point. Elves. Yo, yo, what's up, y'all? Y'all's ready to kick it in some fine North Pole gear? Brian, why does the North Pole have black teenagers? Uh, from, uh, Katrina? Ah, of course. All right. Well, um, I just have one more question then. Do you think I'm an idiot? Huh? Do you? Look, Stewie, the North Pole is a long and dangerous... You can't jerk me around when it comes to Santa Claus, Brian. There is a Ferris wheel here and a guy hosing vomit. Nobody vomits at the North Pole except for Santa's wife because she has an eating disorder. What? Yeah, because he can have anyone he wants and she knows that. Stewie, just pull yourself together. I won't, Brian. Now you get your ass back into that hippie car of yours and take me to the North Pole. Now! Look, okay, I know you're upset, but why don't you just sit down, write out your Christmas list, and I promise I will mail it to Santa Claus. Screw that! This was never about Christmas presents, Brian. Well, then why do you want to go all the way to the North Pole? Because I'm going to kill Santa Claus. So it turned out Stewie was determined to kill Santa Claus. Would he succeed? Well, let's find out. Wait a minute, why the hell do you want to kill Santa? Because that fat bastard blew me off at the mall, and he shall not go unpunished. Now let's go, I've got it all planned out. I'm going to see the workshop, pet a few reindeer, take a few pictures of me and Santa, and then I'm going to blow his brains out, hopefully with his bitch wife watching. This is ridiculous, we are not going to the North Pole. Trust me, it's a waste of time, you're not going to find Santa. Why not? Because there's no such... Because when you get there, you may find out it isn't what you thought it was, and I wouldn't want you to be disappointed. That's it? That's your reason? Well, you know, you know why nothing works out for you, Brian? Because you've got a negative attitude, like Eeyore. For my Christmas show and tell, I brought something that's truly full of magic and wonder. How lovely, Carl. You brought a bag of... Uh, what is it? A 
Excuse Christmas Eve, I put out a plate of cheese nibs for Santa, right? And the next morning, this was all that was left. Behold, the magic of Santa! Fabulous and highly speculative issue of Santa Claus. Jimmy, but um, how do you know your parents didn't eat the cheese nibs? <laughs> My parents are on a high fiber, low cheese nib diet. Miss Bell, can we have some clarity on this very nebulous and highly speculative issue of Santa Claus? Jimmy, stop being such a Mr. Science head and learn to enjoy Christmas. Maybe I can teach you how using the magic of song. These feelings that you speak of are subjective. The punks may roll. Their hearts all aglow, basking in the warmth. Real. Christmas joy should be your one objective today. Your answer's more elusive than it should be. Happiness is the reason we delight in the season. Science is fine. But that was fun. Now let's do a hot salsa number about Arbor Day. Curve! Basking in the warmth. But where's your proof? Basking in the warmth of Christmas Day. for over 500 years in an environment of minus 20 degrees Celsius. But you people still haven't answered my question. Carl, how can a man with a 50-inch waistline fit down a standard 20-inch chimney? No, 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 Santa. 500 years in an environment of minus 20 degrees Celsius. Um, uh... I submit to you that there's only one explanation. There is, in fact, no Santa Claus. What? I didn't mean to. I'm just looking for some straight answers here. I guess I'll just have to look somewhere else. Why, of course there's a Santa, Jimbo. It... Jimmy, darling, Santa's not something you can prove with science. He does exist because he's real in our hearts. That I've had some fudge, I feel much better. You look better. I'm sorry I hurt your feelings, Carl. My presence on Christmas morning, you're a dwarf star. Well, like I was. What do you mean? Well, two years ago, I wrote Santa asking for a core sample from Dwarf Star NG-738. I wanted it more than anything ever. But when I opened my presents on Christmas morning, new Dwarf Star. That was the saddest day of my life. Ha, <laughs> what's so funny? Isn't it obvious, Jimmy? You were just naughty that year. What are you talking about? Wasn't that the year you almost destroyed the Earth? No, you guys are missing the point. Jimmy was naughty. Jimmy was naughty. Ugh. I, I didn't want to do this, but you've placed me in a scientifically untenable position. Vox, initiate reindeer scenario 8.20-B. Reindeer are magic. Yeah, he feeds a special camo lace for Jack I like you. Sorry, Jimmy. I, I sat on your scanner thingy. seen a pattern like that. Carl, what's in your back pocket? Oh, just my bag of cheese nibs. Hold on, hold on. Now, there's no way to prove that, short of traveling to the North Pole and scanning for the same pattern, and we're certainly not going to... To the North Pole! Yay! We're gonna see Santa! Shotgun! Ugh, I... He's bound to do something to embarrass himself. Hey! Let's get it on tape and get back at him for making Carl cry! No. 
North Pole. Am I dressed for it? No. <gasps> Source of this energy signal. 